I thought it was historically uh, what he did with it, what Bart and the design team did with it. From the first time I saw the designs and saw the, what they were, or where they were headed, that would it would be landmark, watermark production. That it would be, it would go down. Probably it might even surpass the original when it was done. That it had that cap capability with the minds involved. Because it was extraordinary. And what I liked about Bart's production is that the, it was theatrical. This is a real theatrical piece. I mean, when I use that word, I mean, it's really the, the, la the poetry of the language and the, and the grandeur of the characters goes beyond just the confi confines of realistic. And Bart really understood that, and he was able, I think, in the design team to lift it beyond just being uh, realistic, to take it into the mystical and the spiritual. I was downtown shopping on Thursday, and I went back to the theater with all these shopping bags, and I'm going in because I just thought I'd go to the theater and just stay there, eat, you know. And in the alleyway leading up backstage, was uh, one of the stage, uh, the lighting man who's head of the whole thing. He says to me, <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. He says, you're gonna win the Tony and it's Obama that's coming. <laughs> that's exactly his words. Because it was so electric when he came in, first of all, the show was almost an hour late starting, you know that because they had first, and then he was the one that said, no, let these people in, you cannot hold this show up, because they were doing everybody with the wands and putting them through the metal detectors. Well, when he walked, and you know, they, then they put the audience was in, they brought him in. My God, it was like a rock star. The screaming, people standing on seats and screaming, and oh, does the New Yorkers make this sound, you know, that comes out. And people leaning over the balcony, trying to get, take pictures with their phones and lights, it was like fashion week. All the lights were going off all over the place. People taking pictures and they kept the secret service. There were four secret service backstage and they were saying, take the curtain up, take the curtain up, take the curtain up. And we did. And that's the only way they sat down. I mean, it was just electric. Everybody was up to it. it was just, I was so proud of that cast. And everybody was just, we gave a show. They had to stand up at the end. You know, it was a real, incredible, incredible performance. And which was all the more disappointing when he didn't come backstage. So, because apparently they had no idea that that was etiquette. It's their social secretary that really messed up. Uh, Desiree Rogers. <laughs> Bernie Gersten needs to receive the Tony Lifetime Achievement Award. This man has done more for theater in New York than anybody, I think, since Joe Pab. There's nobody that comes close to touching him in terms of his involvement and what he's been associated with in all of his years in theater. And I think it would be a shame if Bernie Gersten is not recognized with a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Antoinette Perry people. So, that said, and I think that um, Andre, is one of the foremost um, artistic directors in this country. He really has, he's the one that brought us to Driving Miss Daisy forever and ever. <laughs> and many others. I just think it's, it's, a, it's a great place to work. They are so attuned and respectful of actors, not just the company of, that I was in, but I just noticed that they have a great respect. You can tell by being around, they have a great respect for it actors and writers. The atmosphere here is not, it's not tense. I've been in a lot of theaters regionally and you can get tense. <laughs> and you don't find that here. You find it really is, it serves, pe people are here to serve the work and it makes a difference. I, it really is a wonderful place to work and I hope to continue working here. I have a couple of projects that I'm very interested in doing. <laughs>